Matt Step, Dave Campbell's Texas football here in Italy, Texas, here with the head coach of the 4-2 and two Italy Gladiators, Coach Craig Horn, after a district opening. Hard fought, 23-21 win over the Marlin Bulldogs. First off, Coach, congratulations. Every district wins a big one, right? Yeah, this is a really big one. We felt like they're the, obviously the most talented team in the district and had the best opportunity to beat us, and, and they showed that here tonight. They had every opportunity to win the football game, and we got lucky when we needed to get lucky, and, and – uh, you know, executed a few plays there in the second half that allowed us to win. I, I thought your, your your defense and special teams, you know, in, in 2A football, sometimes that can be a real difference maker because, you know, a lot of schools' low numbers don't have time to work on special teams, and I thought your special teams with the punt, executing the punt, pinning them down. In a tie ball game in the fourth quarter, it's 21-21. You pin them on the one-yard line, and then your defensive line comes up with a big play to get to safety, which ultimately wins the game. Uh, th those were huge plays, and I thought your defense all night stepped up big to contain a really explosive offense. Well, some of that just comes down to when I broke into coaching, uh, I, I worked with Brian Irwin, and, and he instilled that in us. If they don't score, they can't win. you got to be good on defense, good in special teams, and then just eat things out on offense. But if you got a choice to be good somewhere, you better be good on defense and special teams. And so we, we work on it, we focus it, and it, it won us a, a ball game tonight. And it's won us a lot of ball games here and other places in, in the past. But uh, that just comes from, from being taught the right way as a young coach and, and – and not getting all caught up in the, the new age offenses and wanting to score 70 and all that. Uh, you got to be a slug some out sometimes. And I, you know, I thought Jaden Barr, uh, you, you know, one of your team leaders, had a great game, and he had a big play on special teams to open the second half. You know, y'all are up seven to nip and tuck ball game. He takes the opening second half kickoff and runs it down to the two yard line, sets you guys up, and you guys were able to punch it in. I thought Jaden uh, was really, really, really dynamic for you guys tonight and had a great game. What, what can you say about him as a player? Oh, he's a great kid. You might notice he had on pink socks tonight. He lost his mother to cancer about three, uh, maybe four years ago now. And so, uh, uh, you know, he's a good player for us. He's matured so much in the past three years. And, and it's just, it, it's it's great to see a kid that's put in hard work in the weight room and, and it has matured and become a young man doing the right things uh, to have some success. You know, now, now you got, you know, you got four district games left. I know there's it's still, you know, Still a long way to go. This was a big one tonight. Um, you know, it was a physical ball game. Uh, what you know? How do you approach later in the year when you come out of a physical ball game? Do you maybe turn down the intensity a little bit early in the in the in the earlier in the week in practice to try to let those guys heal up their bumps and bruises and make sure they're ready to go for Friday night next week? Well, believe it or not, we probably have the softest practices you can imagine. We we go up against pop up dummies. We go up against barrels, and and uh, we really don't hit on each other because we can't afford to lose anybody. So our practices we are not really. Uh, physical from a standpoint of us going against one another. Now we, we get pretty physical with those pop-up dummies and and, and the the barrels. Uh, no, I think as the year moves on, some of the things you can do you, you can play different personnel packages, change up some defenses, get a few other kids on the field, and get a couple of other kids off the field uh, in in some situations, and that kind of keeps kids fresh and it keeps them you know uh, mentally involved, and and so you you wind up playing 20 or 25 kids and. And uh, then if an injury does happen, you get got kids that had some playing time. So we'll do some things like that as we move forward, add some wrinkles to the offense and, and run a few more defenses and whatnot. Final question for you, Coach. You're, you're, you're from around the, this neck of the woods. You're, you're, a, you're a guy from Hubbard. Yes. Uh, seems like Italy and Hubbard are, Hubbard are very similar communities in a lot of ways. Uh, I know when you came over here a few years ago, that was one thing you, you, you talked about was, you know, it kind of reminded you home a little bit. How supportive has the community and, and your administration been here at Italy for you to get, get this program, uh, you know, really, really continuing the success they've had in years past? Well, this community expects to win at everything all the time, and, and that's kind of what I'm about. I mean, I, I don't care if we're playing tiddlywinks. We're going to try to win. Uh, and we're going to try to turn over every stone and research everything we, we can to, to find a way to be successful no matter what it is. Uh, so the community expects us to, to, to be, be good and, and to win, and, and the kids expect that, and that's why you can get a lot out of these kids. You know, we're not real big, you saw that, we're not real fast, but the kids play really hard. Uh, and, and that's just that's from the community, you know, kids expecting to be successful and, and they don't care who they're lining up against, you know, like Marlon and I, you know, they're a lot bigger, a lot more athletic than we are, but they just keep plugging away. The administration, I mean, I couldn't say enough good things about them. Uh, they're phenomenal. You know, anything we want, we get. Uh, you know, they're very supportive, they're proactive, they ask us what do we need, you know, we don't really have to go to them for things, and, and you saw how they managed the, the game tonight. The, the, uh, they're, they're very supportive, and, and we couldn't ask for anything more. Coach, enjoy the win, good luck the rest of the season, hopefully we'll see you come playoff time. Right, I appreciate it, thanks, Matt.
Hey, thanks for watching this clip here on YouTube. If you like this kind of stuff and you want more of it, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, you can watch us live every weekday at noon at texasfootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, or here on YouTube. And if you want more of the best coverage of football in the state of Texas, check out texasfootball.com and become a Dave Campbell's Texas Football Insider at texasfootball.com slash subscribe.